Hey again, everybody. This is Steve out in the shop. I uh, I want to make another video here. I, I started breaking down an old 300 that I was parting out. Uh, I got it torn into it pretty good, and I realized I hadn't made a video, so I'm kind of backtracking here. Uh, when I got this tractor, uh, it was literally pulled out of the woods. I've been sitting out in some woods at the edge of a field for probably 25 years or so. Uh, some other folks had already picked a lot of stuff off of it. Now uh, you're pretty much looking at it like I got it, but I've already taken a few things off and I'll go over that here in a few minutes. This particular one here is a 1955 model from all 300. Uh, I've already, I've taken off the water pump. Uh, I'll be using, I've got a 300 farm all myself, but that particular water pump will actually work on an H. Uh, it'll work on a Super H, uh, 300, 350, and some of your uh, power units. Uh, somebody already robbed the head off of this one. They got the radiator. You can see some of the the, the uh, drive parts off the pump there. I always keep that kind of stuff. They have a tendency to wear out or break or get lost for whatever reason. I'm going to keep this... Uh, Front engine cover here, I have replaced those over the years. These these uh, studs are bad about getting broke off. Over the, uh, I guess they get cracked or get weak. It is kind of a weak spot in there. So I've changed those. I'll be keeping that one and hopefully some of those gears in there too. I don't think there's a lot of help for that gas tank. I don't think there's enough JB Weld in the world to fix that. I've already taken off the hydraulic valves that are in here. You can see they're missing. Uh, what a whole lot to say about those. They were actually in good shape. I'll be saving those. The uh, Somebody already got to the, the filter that goes on there. You can see here the the, uh, the hydraulic reservoir, the base is already broken. This tractor here has got a, an H uh, cast center on one side and a 300 cast center on the other. You'll notice a marked difference between the two wheels. The H is a six spoke, the 300 is a is an eight spoke. Both of them had uh, wheel weights on them. That's one of the main reasons I wanted a home tractor. I got the tractor for the price of the wheel weights. If you'll notice the clamping system is different on the H's. H's and M's, letter series versus uh, the clamping system on the 100 series are totally different. So you can interchange the rims, the, uh, the wheels, but you have to interchange rims and all. Okay, I've already taken out the, the PTO and the fast hitch off of it. Smoke over here. I'll be using these myself. I won't use the PTO, mine are good, but that's the same. PTO goes in a 300, 400. The fast hitch, I'll be using some parts out of that as mine have been on my 300. It was broken several years ago before I got it. Uh, it was welded back in correctly and I've had problems with it ever since. So I'll be swapping that out. Let's go back over here. Uh, I'm going to tear down. I managed to score an international cylinder with a straight ram in it. So I'll be tearing that down. There's a lot more parts on this. Uh, I'm going to try to save that TA. My tractor is a factory delete. Uh, TA factory delete. And uh, I don't really need it for my personal use, but maybe I can sell it for a core charge to somebody, one of these rebuilders and whatnot. Apparently they had, this tractor had been made into some kind of a spray rig. They got the makings of a spray system that was left on it. A filtration deal of some sort, I don't know. Now uh, there's part of the brake, some of the brake systems still, uh, parts are still usable. Not very much. I'm gonna save the uh, I'm gonna save the tricycle, probably that front bolster. Uh, I had to have a, a tricycle here last year for that H right there, and I used up the last one I had in my parts stash. So I'm gonna replace and save that one for maybe for next time. I have seen these bolsters break. Uh, I saw one on an M that I actually replaced was busted right through here. Apparently that's the weak spot coming through the, the old start shaft. So I'll probably save that. Uh, 
that's pretty much it on this picked over old bird. It, it, uh, there's not much left on it, but uh, fortunately there's, there's some steel mills in our area, so this one here will most likely not be going to China. American steel will stay in America, God willing. So until next time, guys, uh, I'll, uh, when, I get, when I get this torn down a little bit more, uh, I'll, I'll make another video of the TA and the clutch and pressure plate in that area that you see inside of that as well. All right, thank you.